Welcome gamers to another edition of GamerZone, where we play games, talk games, and share with you the latest in gaming with me, <laughs> Yumi Suryani. This week on GamerZone, we will be fighting for your right to play games, and with that, we would like to talk about fighting games. Fighting games are the staple to every gamer since the dawn of early game. Games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter gives off a nostalgic sense in that we've been playing that game since the first generation came out. But with the advancement of technology and the rising of game developers, we have been served with a lot more fighting games and there is even esports tournament especially for this type of games. But as always, before we bring you the weekly exclusive, we would like to update you with our gaming news. If you are very familiar with the gaming industry, you will probably be very familiar with the Unreal Engine as it is a game engine that is developed by Epic Games and first showcased in 1998 in the game Unreal. Initially, the Unreal Engine was developed a first-person shooter on the PC. But since then, they have been used in a variety of 3D games and has been adopted into many other industries, particularly the film and television industry. With the recently released Unreal Engine 5, it is unlike the previous generation of Unreal, which requires users to subscribe with Unreal Engine 5. It is free to download. And Epic Games allows its use for commercial products based on a royalty model. Digimon, nostalgic little digital monsters that we used to carry in our pockets. It started out as that little digital pad that we can fit in our pockets that we took care of like the Tamagotchi. Only with Digimon, we get to use the pads to battle our friends. Now comes a new game, Digimon Survive. Stated to be in visual novel form with survival strategy elements, the story is rumored to involve the Digimon from the first generation up to the current one. Digimon Survives is slated for release sometime in 2022. Frank Herbert's Dune will be getting a new game. The title Dune Spice War and it will mainly focus on the spice wars between the different factions and houses in the Dune universe. The game is slated to be released in early access by 26 April 2022. Alright, now on to our weekly lease. Here are our picks of fighting games. Guilty Gear's Excerpt is a game developed by Arc System Works and part of the Guilty Gear series developed using the Unreal Engine 3. With cell shaded graphics in place of the hand drawn sprite, following Guilty Gear 2 Overture, it introduced several new characters. The story continues from the predecessors set in the year 2187, where the first part is set in arcade mode through each character's own storyline and focuses on Ram Little Valentine's arc, while the second part is set after the arcade mode's storyline. Guilty Gear Exod. Soul Calibur 6 developed by Bandai Namco Studios, is the seventh main installment in the Soul Calibur series, released back in 2018. Following the tradition of previous games in the series, the gameplay incorporates two weapons wielding combatants battling each other in a 3D system. The game has kept many of its familiar elements including the 8-way run, guard impact and character creation mode and it adds up to its traditional formula by introducing new mechanics such as Reversal Edge and the newly revamped Soul Charge. The game contains a base roster of 21 fighters, but additional characters are added through DLC after the game's initial launch. The story of Soul Calibur 6 serves as a sequel and a reboot for the whole series as it takes place during the 18th century to revisit the events of the first Soul Calibur to uncover the hidden truth. Soul Calibur 6 
Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is also a game developed under the Bandai Namco Studios and Sora Limited release for the Nintendo Switch. It is the fifth installment in the Super Smash Bros. series. The game follows the series' traditional style of gameplay, which is controlling one of the various characters. Players must use differing attacks to weaken your opponent and knock them out of the arena. There are a total of 89 playable fighters, including all characters from previous series with newer playable characters. Developed by Atlas and Arc System Works and released on the PS3 and Xbox 360 in 2014. The gameplay follows standard fighting game conventions, with matches between two characters with individual movesets and special expandable abilities. The storyline is told through visual novel styles. Who wouldn't want to play as Batman, fighting Superman nonetheless? But anyway, the infamously awaited sequel to one of the best superhero fighting games in the last decade, Injustice Gods Among Us. Injustice 2 brings a lot more to the table than the previous installments. Along with a bigger roster of fighters that includes the likes of Blue Beetle, Firestorm, Adam, Captain Cole and Deadshot and many others. And the best part about Injustice series? is it is canon in the DC Universe, meaning it is given its own universe and comic book arc and a rumored animated movie is under development. Become blurred. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for them to be redrawn. Here are some special mentions fighting games that we also love. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Skullgirls a second encore. We have to go now. Our kingdom needs us. Get ready for some mad salt. Get the season one packs. Available now on consoles and PC. Dead or Alive 5. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. To restore balance between life and death. We shall see. So, do you take, like, regular batteries? Rocket, are you listening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crash no moon. Find the core. Nab the power stone. Boom! <laughs> Bloody Roar Mortal Kombat 11. Let's go toe to toe. When it's time to battle, they don't never ever show. When it's time to battle, I'm the first one at the door. At the door. Here we go. Girl. Going 
gonna be next. Straight up. And that's it for this this week. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back gamers and on this week, we want to recommend a little indie fighting game called Rivals of Aether Rivals of Aether is an indie fighting game set in a world where warning civilization Summon the power of fire, water, air and earth Choose the rival to bring into the battlefield and manipulate the powers of the classical elements and animal movement. Praise for its competitive gameplay and intensive training tools, Rivals of Aether is the perfect entry to the platform fighter genre. Dungeon and Fighter Duel is set for release for summer 2022. And that's it gamers, that's it for this week's update. Don't forget to tune in to our show again next week, same time, same place. Only on GamerZone, eat, sleep, game and repeat. See ya!